Yeah, well, they have little spikies on them, though. You don't. Longtime San Dimas resident Sherry King needs no convincing about the serious nature of California's drought. It's sad because we drive up the street and we can see our hills. They're not green. They're brown. You know, we don't get enough rain. Sherry and her family decided long ago to be a part of the solution, converting their yard to drought-tolerant landscaping. Scattered around this region of Los Angeles County, there are growing examples of this type of conservation. Welcome news to Governor Jerry Brown, who issued a drought declaration in 2014 that urged Californians to scale back their water use by 20 percent. When the governor says everyone in California needs to save water, I think it's, it speaks to everyone. How serious is it? California is enduring its fourth straight year of serious drought conditions. Snowpack in the Sierra, which can account for a third of the state's water supply in a normal year, is extremely thin due to minimal storms and warmer temperatures. Water users are drawing down existing water supplies both in above-ground reservoirs and below-ground aquifers. It is alarming. Golden State Water Resources Manager and Chief Hydrogeologist Toby Moore says the dry conditions seen at this reservoir on the edge of the Angeles National Forest have led to wells drying up, seawater intrusion along the coast, lower water quality, even sinking of the land itself as underground supplies shrink. It's why Golden State officials note they've made proactive water planning such a priority. We've really put in a lot of investment to ensure that we have these supplies. Because of the prolonged drought, it's going to take some time to replenish our supplies and even average or above average rainfall and snowpack for one to three years may not get us there. It's why water agencies like Golden State emphasize the importance of water use efficiency in an effort to develop a new mindset. As far as the drought is concerned, it's a new norm. I think we have to understand that we're not going to have the same water supplies that we did in the past. A lot of residential customers don't realize how much water they're using to water their landscapes. Um, statewide, it ranges between 50 and 80 percent, depending on the size of the landscape. Golden State and its partners offer programs and incentives to help customers improve water use efficiency. They vary by community, but can include landscape turf removal, low water use landscaping, smart irrigation equipment. Indoors, the company recommends fixing leaks and replacing inefficient fixtures, operating only full loads when washing clothes and dishes, and installing low-flow shower heads and toilets. Every bill that a customer gets will remind them to save water. Customers can also report water waste in their neighborhoods online or by phone. Experts know that changing habits takes time and work. Back in San Dimas, Sherry King knows that well. Changing her landscape, she says, was a smart move. She hopes others will follow. It totally changed my whole outlook on it. It's, it's definitely better.